This is Buckshot. You're watching Buckshot's Bonanza on WoozyFly.com. Today I got Stevie Van Zant at the Hard Rock Cafe for the the Peace Rocks um, charity event. How's it going, Stevie? Is it cool, man? Cool, cool. Yeah. So, how did you get hooked up with this charity? Well, it's actually two friends of ours. Um, the Hard Rock is a sponsor of the Underground Garage. Uh, they're actually our first sponsor, going back six years now. And um, uh, Q104 is our local affiliate. Right, uh, right. And they were happy to be the first station ever to put the Underground Garage on the air. So, two of our best friends, really. And it's right, in, you know. Down, right a, York, down, down a block in, in the neighborhoods, Absolutely. but uh, and, and by the way, <laughs> it's a great, uh, great organization and a, and, a, and a really cool idea. You know, the whole peace games thing. You know? Yeah, I think it's a great idea, and uh, you know, I'm glad to be you know talking about. It. So, you, you're going to be a judge at tonight's event. I guess so. Yeah. You so know, I'm, 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 I'm going to be the good guy, though. Yeah. Okay. You all know, right. All right. I got, you know, there'll be some other guys that vote against these people. I'm voting for everybody. Voting for everybody. All right. Cool. So, so that was going to be one of the questions. Who do you best represent? At, like um, out of the judges, Simon, Paula, or Randy? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I think I think you know most people think like Simon and actually you know talk like uh, right, Randy. Right. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I don't really... Uh, so any dogs and any dog pounds tonight? Not going to be any... any no, no. <laughs> They're going to be very friendly and civilized. Nice, know. nice. So what's some of the, um, you know, watching the guys perform tonight, you're judging all that. Any, um, you know, want to get up there and jam a little bit with the bands? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> <laughs> no. This is like, a, you know, this is like a time off. We want to have some fun. Uh, right, Let right. somebody else suffer up there. Uh no, nah, it's going to be a fun evening, really. That's why I, I expect it to be, anyway. Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I expect a lot of drama tonight. No, nah, I don't think so either. <laughs> I don't think so. So you're, you also do other some charities, Rock and Roll Forever Foundation. Yeah, that's our that's our foundation. Um, our first project is going to be um, uh, Little Stevens Rock and Roll High School, which we're writing a curriculum right now. Right. It's going to be the first rock and roll curriculum actually in 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 schools. Um, hopefully, somewhere around 2010. Okay. And that's a really, really big thing. That's the biggest thing in my life, really. Um, and that's mostly what the foundation is dedicated to right now. So right. that's gonna that's full time full time work. You know. Well, I, I but, you know uh, I grew up it, playing the saxophone in high school and yeah. elementary school, and I, I think the foundation is brilliant, man. I, I want to applaud you for that. No, thank you. I mean, we we thought you know with with fifty percent of all music classes and arts classes being cut in America, exactly. which is criminal. Uh, you know, we decided to take a step back from that and basically teach the history and how cool, you know, uh, the interaction between rock and roll and our culture has been, you know. It's really the history of America when you absolutely, think about it, you know. Absolutely. And, you know, there's a whole lot of uh, things you can talk about with that as far as the civil rights movement and the women's uh, movement and the ecology and all kinds of cool things. Um, so that was going to be taught at the same time as the music sort of right. um, uh, gets a chance to be played for, for, for kids. Who might not otherwise hear it, you know? Right, right. So that's that's what we're working on right now, and and actually it dovetails very nicely with what Peace Games is doing. That's true. So uh, I think we'll probably hook up at some point, do things together, you know. Well, uh, so. I think what you're doing is fantastic, man. You know, and keep up the good work, you know. And um, what do you call it? I, I know when I saw you play last time with Bruce, I um. I saw you playing the Gibsons instead of the Strats. Is there any, any reason for the change? No, no, no. I play, I play about 12 different guitars during the show. Um, you might have come in in the middle middle, middle hour. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get some beer, man. <laughs> I caught you. <laughs> no, this Strats is, uh, you know, there's all kinds of guitars. Uh, Rick and Rack and 12 strings and, you know, uh, whatever the song requires. That's you know? true. That's, That's true. You know, that's cool. So you got your own new um, label now, Wicked Cool Records. Yeah. It was you got out the, the Chesterfield Kings. Yeah, Chesterfield uh, Kings. I love that band. I'm from upstate New York. so oh, they're, 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 they're the kings. They really are the kings of the garage rock movement. Absolutely. Um, and, they're, and they're still getting better. I mean, the last two albums are the two best albums yep. they've ever done. So it's really great that this stuff is just starting to catch on now. Um, we started the label because a lot of international bands were looking for American uh, distribution. distribution. So right. we said, you know. We'd help them out, and now uh, a lot of bands are coming to us. But uh, just getting started, really, you know, just starting. Cool, so. cool. Well, I'm sure it's going to kick ass, man. And um, you know, you, you played the, the Gip Fiddle for a while now. You know, what, what is one of your um, craziest rock and roll stories, experiences that you've ever, you know, dove into? I'm not good with stories. Uh, <laughs> nothing I can tell on Rosie. The G-rated, the G-rated version. <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> 
Tune in next week. <laughs> for, uh, I don't know. I don't have any stories, really. Yeah, but, all right, uh, all right. but we're, um, you know, we're having a lot of fun now, though, on the road. You know, we're going back to Europe, and um, we're starting to connect up uh, the European uh, national radio stations with, with, with the Underground Garage. That's so awesome, dude. We just got added to all of Netherlands. All of Spain. So you're going globally then? All of Denmark, yeah. yeah. Good for you, yeah, man. So Good for you. That, it's really important to get that, the basics you know, out there so people have access to be able to hear the early Rolling Stones. Right, you know, right. hear Eddie Cochran and you know, hear the Crystals and, and, and you know, the Ramones. Uh, you know, are, are sometimes hard the staples, to find. man. The staples, yeah, you know, dude. You know. So, so you know. Well, um, last question here, man. Everyone's been asking me: Is Sopranos going to come out with a movie and all that? Uh, so I wanted to ask you: Do you think you could kick Polly Walnut's ass in a fight? <laughs> <laughs> that old man. That old man is right. No problem. Whoop his ass. Well, dude. Don't man. tell him though. No, no, I, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, Stevie. Pleasure to meet you, man, and um, best luck to all your future endeavors. Thank and um, you. Thank you. Dude, kick some ass, man. Thank I appreciate it. Save rock and roll, man. Peace. Absolutely, man. Hey, this is Buckshot. You're watching Buckshot's Bonanza on WooZyFly.com. Twist one up and create your own buzz. Thank like you, you said. <laughs>